Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In today's video, we're going to look at a lead code problem and the problem's name is longest increasing subsequence. So in this question, we're given an integer array called nums. We have to return the length of the longest strictly increasing subsequence. So by definition, a subsequence is an array that can be derived from another array by deleting some or no elements without changing their order. For example, 2, 3, 7 is a subsequence by deleting element 5 and also 2, 5, 3, 7 is also a subsequence where we don't delete any elements. So this is a classic example of dynamic programming. So from the question, there are two hints which can conclude that we can use dynamic programming to solve this question. So the question is asking us to find the longest something here, longest strictly increasing subsequence. And also to find the longest strictly increasing subsequence, we are going to compare the elements from its previous values. So for example, to find if this is the longest subsequence, we are going to use answers from its previous values so that we can build our current answer from its previous values. So let's take this example and see how we can solve this question. So I've taken the first example here and I create a DP array which will be of the same length as the input. Length is equal to 8. So DP array is also going to be of length 8. And this is the array given to us nums. And every element inside the array is a subsequence, right? So 10 is a subsequence, 9 is a subsequence, 2 is a subsequence and here it is given as constraints that the length will start from 1. So at least there will be one element inside the array as input. So that element is going to be the longest subsequence if there are no other elements. So every element is a subsequence for itself and that will be the longest, right? So we are going to use the DP array to store the length of the longest subsequence. So for example, if we are at index 2, we are going to indicate that into the DP array till that index what is the longest subsequence. So initially as every element inside the array is a subsequence, we are going to fill the DP array with length 1. Now we have the DP array with length 1. Now we are going to iterate through the nums array from index 1 to the end of the array. We are starting from index 1 because this value is already filled. That will be the longest. This particular value has length 1 so that is the longest. Now we have to check for these values. So now we use two loops. I will be pointing at 1 and j will be pointing at 0. So I will iterate from 1 through length and j will iterate from 0 through i. So we check if the po element pointing at nums of i is greater than the element pointing of nums of j. So 9 is greater than 10. No. So it is not an increasing sequence. Till here the length of the longest increasing subsequence is 1. Now we can move further. Now we check all the elements from this range. If 2 is greater than 10, no. Then we move j further. We check if 2 is greater than 9, no. So we end the current iteration and move i further. And j is resetted back to 0. We check if element pointing at i is greater than element pointing at j. If i is greater than 10, no. So increment j. We check if i is greater than 9, no. So increment j. We check if i is greater than 2, yes. So we found an increasing sequence. We update this value by finding out the current max. So dp of i is going to be max of current dp of i or dp of j plus 1. Plus 1 will give you the increasing sequence. So max of dp of 3, i is 3, right? dp of 3 is 1, dp of j is also 1 and we add plus 1. So max of 1 comma 2 is equal to 2. So we update dp of 3 with 2, which means till here nums of 3, the longest increasing subsequence is of length 2, which is 2 comma 5. Now we move i further for the next iteration and we reset back j to 0, start the new iteration. We check if element at i 3 is greater than element at j 10, no. So we increment j. We check if element at i 3 is greater than 9, which is element at j, no. So increment j. We check if 3 is greater than 2. No. So increment j. We check if 3 is greater than 5. No. Now if increment j, j is 4 and we end the iteration. So we move i and we reset back j to 0. We check if element at i 7 is greater than element of j 10. No. So increment j. We check if element at i7 is greater than 9, no, so increment j. We check if element at i7 is greater than element at j2, yes. We need to update dp of i. So max of dp of i is 1 and dp of j 
dp of j is dp of 2 which is also 1 plus 1 so max of 1 comma 2 is equal to 2 so update dp of phi to 2 now we increment j check if element at i 7 is greater than element at j phi yes so we need to update dp of i again so max of dp of i dp of i is 2 dp of j is also 2 2 plus 1 so max of 2 comma 3 is 3 so update it with 3 so this is the longest subsequence until now where j is equal to 3 where the element stands for 5 comma 7 so 3 2 comma 5 are coming from this and 7 is the current element that is why did, we did plus 1 so 2 5 7 is the longest sequence now we increment j because there is one more iteration left j is 4 we checked if element at i 7 is greater than element of j 3 yes so we have to update dp of i again we check if current dp of i dp of phi is 3 dp of j j is 4 dp of j is 1 1 plus 1 so 3 comma 2 max of 3 comma 2 is 3 max will remain 3 it's already 3 it will remain 3 and in the next iteration j is equal to 5 we end the iteration we move i forward and we reset back j to 0 to start the next iteration we check if element or i 101 is greater than 10 yes so dp of i is 1 dp of j is 1 so 1 plus 1 so 1 comma 2 max is 2 so update it with 2 so max sequence until now is 10 comma 101 now we increment j we check if element at i 101 is greater than element at j 9 yes so we have to update i is 6 dp of 6 is 2 dp of j is 1 1 plus 1 2 comma 2 max it will remain 2 now we increment j we check if 101 is greater than 2 yes so we have to update dp of i current dp of i is 2 current dp of j is 1 1 plus 1 2 so it will remain 2 and now j moves forward we check if element at i 101 is greater than 3 yes so we have to update and dp of 3 is 2 so 2 plus 1 max of 2 comma 3 is 3 so we update dp of 6 with 3 since we took these two values the subsequence is 2 comma 5 comma plus 1 is the current element 101 that is why we did plus 1 here so this is the sequence now now we move j further we check if element at i 101 is greater than greater than 3 yes so we need to update dp of i is 3 dp of j dp of 4 is 1 1 plus 1 so max of 3 comma 2 is 3 so it will remain 3 now we move j forward j is equal to 5 check if element at i 101 is greater than 7 yes so we have to update dp of i so dp of i is 3 dp of j is 3 so 3 plus 1 so max of 3 comma 4 is 4 so update dp of 6 to 4 and the sequence will change since we took 3 from here so 2 5 7 will come from there and plus 1 is this current element 101 so sequence is 2 5 7 1 over and now j is 6 and we end the iteration and move i further and j is resetted back to 0 we check if element at i 18 is greater than 10 yes so we have to update dp of i is 1 dp of j is also 1 so 1 plus 1 1 comma 2 is equal to 2 so we update max to 2 so now the sequence is 10 comma 18 now we increment j check if 18 is greater than 9 yes so we have to update and if we update max remains same now increment j we check if 18 is greater than 2 yes so we have to update and when you update max remains same now we move forward now j is equal to 3 we check if 18 is greater than 5 yes so we have to update check dp of 3 so this is 2 plus 1 max of 2 comma 3 is equal to 3 so we update this value with 3 and we update the sequence 2 5 18 now j moves forward j is 4 we check if 18 is greater than 3 yes but max remains the same max is 3 j moves forward j is equal to 5 we check if 18 is greater than 7 yes so update the value current dp is 3 dp of 5 is 3 3 plus 1 is 4 so max of 3 comma 4 is 4 so update dp of 5 dp of 5 is 4 and since sequence is coming from this this is and we do plus 1 sequence will become 2 5 7 and plus 1 here is for that current element is 18 2 5 7 18 and move j forward we check if 18 is greater than 101 no so we move j forward and j will become 7 and we end the iteration and in the next iteration i is equal to 8 
and j is equal to 0 this condition fails because i is 8 and length is 8 and we end the iteration because i went out of bounds now we have the dp array ready so we iterate through the dp array from left to right and we find the longest length of, of them so longest is initially 0 we iterate through all the elements and find the max and max among all of them is 0 comma 4 here so my longest is updated to 4 and 4 is the output for this question which is the expected output here now let's implement the same steps in the java program so this is the input given to us and we have to return an integer i create the dp array of length of input and i fill all the elements with one we start the iteration with i equal to 1 j equal to 0 and j will iterate till i so we use nested for loops here to fill the dp array nums of i is greater than nums of j we update dp of i with max of current dp of i and dp of j plus 1 so 1 is the current element plus 1 is the current element and after filling the dp array we iterate through the dp array and update the longest variable longest is initially 0 and outside the for loop we return whatever is present inside longest with this example longest is 4 so 4 will be returned as the output so the time complexity of this approach is o of n square because we are using a nested for loop to fill the dp array where n is the length of the input nums and the space complexity is o of n where n again is the length of the nums array because we are using a dp array to form our output that's it guys thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video